So do you guys see that this graph has a high point? Do you guys see it has a high point? Yes? So what we call that high point is the absolute max. Okay. So since this graph has a high point, the absolute max, which I'll just say ABS, the absolute max occurs at the point 2 comma 8. Now when we're talking about high, how, a how high a graph is, we're talking about what, the x coordinates or the y coordinates? The y coordinates, right? So the absolute maximum occurs at the point 2 comma 8. But the absolute va but the value of the absolute max is what that is y equals eight. Okay, so it kind of depends on what the question is. They might say, hey, at what point does the absolute max occur? And you'd say, oh, it occurs at the point two comma eight. Or they might say, hey, what is the absolute maximum value? Well, the absolute ma maximum value is y equals eight. Does that make sense? So I'm giving you both sides of it because I don't know what the graph what they might ask. Um, now the next thing is. So we know that's the absolute max. Is there an absolute minimum? Is this graph, as it's falling, is it going to stop anywhere and we're going to say there's a minimum value? No. So the absolute min, I should have wrote that. That's max. Absolute min is none. There is no absolute min. It's going to go down to negative infinity. So it never, there is no absolute minimum. You're just going to say there is no absolute minimum. But then we can talk about relative. Relative max and relative min. OK? In relative max and relative min, that's kind of being like, what is maybe the second highest or the second lowest points? So the relative min, you guys can see, is what is basically like the second highest point in this graph? Negative 6, 5.5. So you could say negative 6 at 5.5, or y equals 5.5. And the relative min is going to be the lowest value. And the lowest y value is, is at negative 2, 0. Does everybody see that? Yes? No? Maybe? So? 